peace peace happy now of course this is a continuation from the last video uh had a little memory quote unquote we gonna say that the memory on my phone just happened to zap out when i was doing it and, and so i didn't have a, no, enough of space so you know had to make another one but anyway dream round you know again like imagine falling asleep you know and allowing for your dream you know how i say uh i think like letting your dreams run crazy in that sense but that's basically you know uh what we allow to happen because say for instance i create this realm within my dreams but then all of a sudden like i i become unconscious of what's going on in my dreams so all that shit that's going on in my dreams is still happening even though i'm unconscious of it and then let's say, for instance, I'm unconscious of it for a long ass time. Let's just say 24,000 years. <laughs> let's just say, you know, and then I wake up and be like, oh shit, bro. Like, what the fuck going on in this dream? Like, this has got motherfuckers doing this over here and shit going on. I ain't never, you know, like, this ain't necessarily what I dreamed of. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, again, with us being those sleeping giants awake within this realm within this 3d dream you know that's what we're doing like we're applying us waking up in that because again us waking up in that other realm you know and those higher planes have already happened in this you know in the celestial fear spheres or whatever you know however you want to uh whatever terminology you want to put to it but just those high realms we already done you know uh started playing this out and working on this energy it's just now coming down into the physical 3d aspect because again high vibrations move you know faster than the 3d realm so in essence like that's why it like when people wonder like is everything already mapped out or or do we really have free will you know again it's a little bit of both because you know you you're taking certain actions you know without re-remembering fully all the aspects of what already played out on the higher realm you know what i'm saying but again uh you still still creating and still have knowledge of what you're creating on this realm but in certain aspects that are uh hitting to allow for us to you know uh have fun within this you know in this dream as well and i say have fun but in order for us to grow and really have a certain experience you know and this is what we ask for too you know we we ask for this uh the situation and, and you could look at it in a way of like whether we ask for it like hey i want this uh to play out or whether we ask for it just due due to our lack of uh awareness of as far as like falling asleep again like you know we ask for it as far as like falling asleep in our dreams so basically our actions ask for it you know like hey what you did you was just asking for that to happen like you know so hey if you fall asleep on your dreams nigga you asking for artificial shit to take over your your dream realm or your you know your your mental sphere you know like you asking for it aka you know hey we asked for this experience you know <laughs> you know no matter which way you want to kind of look at it you know but uh again right it's us you know, dealing with our dreams and, and, and if I create Scooby-Doo and I create Mickey Mouse, you know, in my dreams, when I go into my dreams, I'm not going to uh, forget that I created Mickey Mouse and Scooby-Doo and start listening to Scooby-Doo and Mickey Mouse, you know. How crazy would it be again for you to, because that's, that's what happened basically, you know. We created Scooby-Doo and Mickey Mouse, <laughs> say for example, and, and, in our dreams and then we started listening to Scooby-Doo and Mickey Mouse, you know, within our dreams, and you know, Scooby-Doo, like, let's go eat, let's go, you know, let's go smoke, <laughs> ain't no, you know, we're just joking, because, you know, Scooby-Doo and, and Shaggy was with the munchies, but, again, not uh, very enough, you know, again, these are characters created in our dreams, so why would I allow for these characters in my dreams to start running me, you know, and again, everything is about the, the internal realm, inside like uh cause again the only either again if I go in my dream and there's certain aspects within my dream that's like alright 
we gotta, you know, we gotta poke at this guy, or, you know, this creator of this realm, we gotta fuck with him to make him think that, you know, that this realm is real. And, and more so, get him to, you know, I don't really think this realm is real in that sense, but again, forgetting that they are creators of this realm and that, uh, like, uh, that we were created by it, you know what I'm saying? That's like we gotta, you know, and, and, and again, it's getting to a place where this is what it actually is. It's nothing personal. It's no, I'm superior than the next person type of vibe, you know. Again, it, 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 it has a connection with melanin, and that's a fact. But that doesn't mean, you know, everybody with visible melanin or, 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 or lack thereof, you know, it's, it's whoever acted, whoever is actively activating their neuromelanin and consciously working and aware of what's going on and what it is, you know, you know, whoever that may be. But it, it, again, though, it is definitely connected to melanin. Like, I'd be lying to you or I'd be trying to play that, oh, let me be nice to racist people and not bring up that it has something to do with melanin. And, you know, <laughs> again, I just finished talking about this a dream realm, so why in the fuck would I be scared to speak on the truth? Within my, within my dream. Like, what the fuck? Like, think about how silly that is, you know? That's why the universe are high self spankers for that type of bullshit. It's like, bro, this is my dream, you know? Matter of fact, I'm about to catch a little vibe, but yeah. Like, it's my dream. Why would I, you know, uh, Again, allow, allow for myself to be influenced by something that I created within my dream. And, and, and this is the whole aspect, again, why subconscious programming and social engineering is so important to, you know, uh, certain aspects within this, you know, 3D dream. You know, it's because, like, if we could, you know, program like as again that's like that's like literally like going within my dream like falling asleep and dreaming that you know I'm I'm watching a movie or, or, or doing certain things but yet not in control of it you know what I'm saying like, like every time I dream I just always see myself in these movies or you know and not being loose that's again that's uh, another aspect too uh Again, why we a sign of of us not uh, you know lucid dreaming a lot is also again speaking to us uh, again allowing certain external situations to uh, you know deter us from realizing what's going on inside of us you know uh, again you know it's a God's dream. You know, be lighthearted about this situation. You know, be childlike. You know, uh, be in the moment. That's the only thing that exists is right now. You know, because right now is the past and the future. So there's no such thing as going into the future or going into the past because all of it simultaneously exists right now. And now and forever, <laughs> basically, you know. Us, uh, again, and that's the whole aspect with the cell phones, with putting shit on TV, and, and anything again to distract you from realizing that you know uh, you are in your own dream that you created, and that you have the capacity to start controlling things within your dream. And again, not controlling it from the way that they're trying to control things, you know, from a logical, egotistical, you know, type of format, but just in a way that, you know, uh, you know, again, where you, you, you're not unconscious of like your actions and what you're dealing with, you know, you're, you're consciously creating, you know, and not necessarily controlling, you know, let's say consciously creating, <laughs> you know. That's basically, basically it, you know, uh, remembering how important 
And again, you may catch signs within this realm. You know, uh, I've got a sign within this, you know, within the physical dream realm. And, and that's another thing, again, like that's what synchronicity is and like, oh man, like what certain shit happened to you that's so synchronized of like manifestation of your thoughts or something to where it's like, damn, like, this shit is crazy, this seemed like a dream. <laughs> Cause maybe it is, you know. Maybe it is. But <laughs> you know, it's time for us to wake up, you know, and realize. It, and it's again, everything is internal. Like, don't get too lost in the sauce of certain external aspects. And again, for myself, just amplifying lucid dreaming in general within my realm so I could, you know, just have more of that awareness of connections. Because again, that's also, I've seen that happen like amongst the, uh, you know, just the brethren and sisters on the growth. Like, I, well, I've seen like because of the masculine energy, uh, you know, are more, more quote unquote men, you know, have less of that, you know, psychic lucidity you know, or let's just say, you know, uh, that psychic awareness as much as, uh, you know, the females, you know, the queens, they have more of a, uh, a stronger psychic connection, you know, due to, uh, them allowing their emotions to flow. Uh, and again, I, I've seen situations where, and it happened to me where like, so like, and it's mostly, you know, again, uh, you know, the feminine energy, like, oh, I saw you in the dream, I saw you in the dream, or oh, this and that, and this happened in the dream. And I'm like, I don't really, you know, recall in essence, you know. So, but that's something, you know, that's key for us to deal with. Very key. But that's basically it.